That breaking news in Monroe County, where firefighters are battling a church fire. That church fully engulfed in flames this afternoon, the building expected to be a total loss. And smoke can be seen from miles away as crews work to salvage what they can. Jermont Terry is there live. And Jermont, do we know if anyone was hurt? Priya, the good news, no one was hurt, and we don't believe that anyone was inside the church. But if you take a look over my shoulder, you can see nearly three hours after firefighters received this call that they are still dealing with some hot spots. You can see to my left here, they're still pouring water to areas. This is where the church office is. But if we pan a little bit back to your right, you can see that this was the sanctuary. It is completely destroyed. But you know one thing about the Christian faith and these members here, they are keeping their faith despite what you see here. People snapped images of the Bridgepoint Church in temperance engulfed in flames. The fire intense and it moved swiftly throughout the sanctuary. My uncle and I are just after three o'clock we hopped in his van to drive over to his office which you can see is in ashes behind me here uh, just to get some empty boxes. They left and minutes after locking up the church Ben Estep received a call telling him to rush back. I believe that that is not the church, that's the building. The people you see standing here, we are the church. Crews from multiple fire agencies are working to get this fire under control, while church members looked on in disbelief. When I got here about 40 minutes later, you know, part of the roof was gone on the office wing of the building, and, you know, within a few minutes, the steeple caved through the sanctuary roof. This is not a very good day, but uh, this is the day that the Lord has made, and um, we're, we're going to get through this together. And again, you can see back live here in Monroe County, that is the church steeple. That is the only thing that's essentially standing. It has fallen into the sanctuary. Crews from 12 different fire agencies are out here on the scene trying to get this under control. Again, this fire has been burning for three hours and counting. No one injured, and I did get a chance to talk to fire investigators right now. They do not suspect any foul play. They had to cut the gas to this church. That uh, sparked an additional flame uh, about 45 minutes ago. But again, no injuries. The church are total loss, and now they're just trying to figure out how they will rebuild and exactly what started this. That's the very latest reporting live in Monroe County with breaking news. Jermont Terry, Local 4. Mm, as tragic sad. as this is, I'm yeah. sure they will rebuild. Thank you, Jermont.